Welcome to House Education Representative. Thank you. I'm used to being on the other side of the table. What I wanted to do with this bill, I haven't lobbied much for it. I have listened to my eight-year-old grandson talk about what he needs to do if a shooter comes into the school. I have heard my church talk about being trained what to do in case there's a shooter in the church. And it brings back old memories for me, who I'm ancient, of duck and cover. I didn't want my grandchildren to have to live through that type of scenario where they have to think about what happens when they go into school or that they might be heard. My bill is a very simple one, yet it's complex. What it tends to do or what it wants to do is amend RSA 159.26. I'm not going to bore you. The Supreme Court has ceded the right to the states <coughs> to control guns in the schools. There have been many cases. The 1990 case was, was uh, challenged and overthrown, but there have been other cases up to 2010 which say that the states have the right to control that and that the Congress, or the opinion of the Supreme Court, is that the Congress could not get involved. What this bill attempts to do in a very simple way is see the right or ask the state to give that right to the local school departments. And that brings up the issue of local control. And because I don't pull any punches, and if I you can use a pun, I'm a straight shooter. I did that because I thought that might be more appealing to our governor. I was hoping that I could get an appointment with the governor, and I have tried. He won't talk to me about gun bills, so I guess that's where it stands. But this is very simple. It just says, this, it adds this clause, this section shall not apply to any policy regulating the use, possession, or transportation of firearms, components, ammunition, firearms, supplies, knives, adopted by any school district. Now, I've been approached to add libraries and municipal buildings, and certainly I will provide you with a copy of what the Supreme Court has said, that municipalities certainly have the right to do that, that you can't, that saying that you can't have a gun in, in a courthouse, for instance, is not against amendment, the uh, Second Amendment or the 14th. So I, I think that there's another, I know there's another gun bill coming behind me. It would not bother me at all if you sought to change this, but I really think that we need to change 159.26 to match what the federal court says. That's it. Thank you very much, Representative. Are there questions uh, of the representative from the committee members? None appearing. Thank you very much for Thank being you. here today. I have. Uh, Crook TV.